Hello YouTube, this is your man, Big B Production Wonder. I got a great video for you guys today. Today in this short video, I'll be showing you guys a couple of cool tricks and tweaks that you can perform inside Photoshop CS6 to speed it up. Now I know some of you guys out there are stuck with using Windows PCs, but it's okay. Windows PCs are not bad at all. But there's no reason why these tricks shouldn't work for a Windows PC. Now I'm on a Mac, but let's begin. Alright, let's open up Photoshop. That's the first thing we want to do. Now, I know from time to time when you guys use Photoshop, it may run slow or drag at times, but it's okay because with these tricks I'm about to show you, it's going to speed it up quite a bit. So, first things on the list. Number one, close unused document windows. If you're not actively using an image file, close it. Each open file can take up a significant amount of memory, which can quickly lead to slowdowns. So, once you have that out of the way, if you have any documents open that you're not using right now just close it that can speed you up quite a bit number two reduce the image resolution working with a higher resolution image and files uses more resources so if you're going to be saving a relatively low quality version of an image anyway reduce the image resolution to a more tolerable level to gain a nice speed boost so that should help you quite a bit as well number three purge history and clipboard in order to do so you want to simply just go to edit and purge now all the history features of Photoshop is useful, but it takes up a lot more memory. So if you're not using it, purging the contents of Photoshop, history, and clipboard frees up a lot of resources. So let me show you how you can do so. Again, you want to go to edit, which is up top. Then you want to come down to where it says purge. Once you go to purge, just select all. That's it. Simple, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. So anyway, now with number four. But number four, this is a cool tip as well. You want to set the drawing mode to basic. In order to perform this action, you want to go to preferences, performance, graphics processes, settings, advanced settings, drawing mode, select basic. Again, this time let me show you an action. You want to go up to where it says Photoshop, go to preferences, come down to where it says performance, select performance. Now over here where it says advanced settings, select it. Now right here you want to change this to basic. Once you do so, just select OK. We're now on number five. Now we're moving along pretty fast here, but let's continue. This is not too bad. Number five, you just want to simply turn off animated zoom. In order to perform this, you want to go to where it says preferences, general, animated zoom, uncheck. Again, this time I'm going to show you an action. You want to go up to where it says preferences, general, animated zoom, just uncheck. Click OK. We're now on number six. With number six, you want to turn off flick panning. In order to perform this, you want to go to where it says preferences, general, enable flick panning, just unselect it. Again, this time let me show you an action. Photoshop, preferences, general, scroll down to where it says enable flick panning, just uncheck that box. Now, most likely yours will be checked, so just uncheck it. Once done so, select OK. You're done. Last but not least, we're now on number seven. In order to perform this action, you want to turn off image previews. In order to do so, you want to go to where it says preferences, file handling. Once you're there, you want to just go to where it says file saving options. Always save. You want to select never save. Once done so, select OK. And that's it. This is your man, Big B Production 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys liked the video, which I hope you did. Also hope that this video was very informative for you guys out there that's using Photoshop CS6. I'll let you.